Oh my god, there's so many bees in here. Holy shit, I've, I, this is a first in my life. Ese es el primer día en mi, en mi vida para manejar un, un carro. Con abejas. Con abejas, con muchas abejas. I'm James. Yo soy Ana. Ahoy. Three months ago, we started an epic adventure to sail around Cape Horn. I was a Navy navigator aboard a submarine and bought my first cruising catamaran after I got out. But after 45,000 miles, it broke in half. Uh, feel comfortable leaving uh, the vessel behind over. But thanks to our amazing subscribers, we were able to kickstart a new boat and embark on our biggest adventure to date. <laughs> bringing some of our awesome backers and all of you along for the ride. I'm going crazy. But the biggest adventure of all was just beginning. Join us on Sailing Zingaro. Eu e tu é na água, e coro a tato aí. Peiro tu e te ame, que irá para a noite. Coming up in part two of our Easter Island adventure, we pull anchor and move to a different part of the island. Okay, we're sailing. Sailing, sailing with the mahina. We attend a traditional Rapa Nui carnival once again get the pleasure of harvesting honey with the island's one and only bee farmer. I kind of want to get out of here now. I'm like, I was cool with the first like one tray, but now that they're getting pissed, this is actually kind of scary. Okay, we are officially leaving Anakena. You know, the last time I was here, we only got to park here about, I think, twice in 34 days. And it was our favorite anchorage for sure. Um, this time, we've been here the entire time. And actually, I kind of want to go to Hangaroa. That way we can go to the town and we can, you know, provision and get stuff easy because we're way far. We're like a 30 minute drive from anything. Uh, there's no cell service over here. There's not a lot to do. Um, overall, I think better we get to the town and we can do some things and we can, you know, I'm going to take some people sailing. It'll be a lot easier for them to get to the boat. So there's really nice wind right now. It's coming the perfect direction and we're going to get out of here. I'm gonna um, send up the drone because we made it here, but I don't really know exactly the perfect place to anchor. I mean, it's been four years since I've been here, so I've kind of forgotten, maybe five, almost five years. Um, so I forgot where the best place to anchor is here. So I'm gonna send up the drone and we're gonna look for the sandy spots. Yeah, this is another use for this on a boat. Oh, oh, it needs to... All right, so uh, I can't use this because the airport's too close. So we're just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way with our eyes. So we're gonna have uh, the crew get up on the bow and look down and you can see where, I mean, you can see right now that there's coral in the you see the coral? It's all sandy here. We 
did it. We're at uh, 250 feet and we're in about 60 feet, so that's about uh, four to one, which right now is fine because we're just gonna, there's no wind and we're, we're gonna be raising that up again. Normally I'd do at least five to one and seven to one if there's any strong wind. All right, that's my rule, that's not everybody's rule. Some, some people do three to one, some people do five to one, some people do 10 to one, that's a little overkill. Okay, we're sailing. Sailing, sailing with the Mahina. You guys know Mahina. Gracias por acompañarnos. Y... Yeah, that's right. Here's what's going on. We're just outside, we're at Easter Island. James is making me laugh, so I couldn't really pose properly for my self-portrait for my mom. But uh, I'm gonna send this footage as a proper here's what's going on video for my family once we get this onto my laptop. And there we have a kind of a big uh, Easter Island basin, if you will. And I think if you look closely at the bottom, there could be a homestead there. And uh, a few trees, a little plantation. A very vertical farming-ish, if you will. Probably not a lot of farming going on in the face of that. But nonetheless, we're on Easter Island. It's absolutely breathtaking. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, this is Manu Meri. Yeah. This is Pato. Frien. Uh This is the beekeeper of the island, the only one. And uh, he's going to take me on a little beekeeping adventure today. He's like, oh, yeah, I don't think these have any holes in them. You'll be fine. <laughs> I have a, I'm, I'm a little scared. Por eso los que están ahí están todos así, muy llenos de plástico. Muy bueno. Ahí está, ahí está, mira, ahí aparece, ¿ves? Oh. Ahí, ahí pasa la abeja. Siempre tienes miedo, un poco miedo por tu trabajo. Eh, que no te pique en sí porque es mucho, mucho. Una abeja duele de pica. ¿Te ha picado abeja a ti, Jimena? ¿Sí? ¿Te han picado? Oh, sí. ¿Tienes dolor en alguna parte? No. Está ahí en peque, James. Pero solo uno, no, no cien. Sí. Sí. Tengo una persona que no, mi señora le hace apiterapia y tiene 113 abejas por pierna. Oh my god. Ciento, 113, Moni. 110 y 100 en otras. Eso es un poco peligroso, ¿no? Mira, James, ven. Este es miel de ayer. Todo ven. de ayer. Bonito. Esa es la que te convidé el otro día. ¿Viste? Miel blanca. Este es monofloral, es del chocho, la flor amarilla que hay en el, la calle. El agua de nuevo, así que listo, ¿viste? Ahí edita Mucho. todo. Este es 5 galones en un día. No hay más. Wow. Bonito, ¿no? Bello. Son. Sí, es un filtrar por el sol. En, 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 por la cera. 
Oh, sí, sí, sí. Entonces, vas por el miel, ¿Sí? separar por la cera. Claro. ¿Y no necesitas filtro más de este? No. Este es listo. Dos Después... filtros, son filtros justos. Y, y botella y... Va. Lo pones en la envasadora como está ahí, en uh -huh. que la cera está arriba, sube la cera y de ahí tú envasas. Por ahora lo hacemos con envasadora manual. De ahí a futuro tendremos la eléctrica, gramaje. Ahora van todos llenos, tres chum. No va con gramera. Y este es tu trabajo también. También. No tienes una. una Mi armada. pareja. Sí. La oscura es, multi, es multifloral, de muchas flores, sobre todo más eucalipto, por eso es oscura. Esta tiene más floración de guayaba, papaya, cosas así, frutilla. Y esta tiene, tiene solo una flor, el chocho lupino. Solo una flor, o el conocido como rap también. Es ya. una flor amarillo. Es una flor amarillo. Y es solo de esa. Esa. Ok, este es de los tres diferentes tipos tiene. Claro. Wow, eso es mucho. Poco aún. Este es el alzamarcos, la espátula, el ahumador y el cepillo para hacerle cariño a la abejita. ¿Y qué es el dentro ya? Hace rin, hace rin para el humo. Ahí lo vamos a hacer. Es para hacer el humo. Este es, este hace rin. No, solo, solo madera. Solo madera, yo ocupo madera. ¿no? ¿En serio? Sí. Porque hay gente que ocupa las cajas de huevos, no, químico, químico, total. Yo ocupo solo hace rin de madera. Ojalá eucalipto, con un poquito pedacito romero que no traje para la abeja que a. Nene, nene, rico. <risa> ¿En serio? La abeja con el humo, con el, cuando le ha hecho humo, ella cambia su, su chip, siente que es un incendio y ella tiene que salir arrancando, entonces se pone a comer miel y se despreocupa de ti, tú no le importas, pero tampoco es echarle mucho humo porque si no se pone más agresiva, es solo eso. Oh, ¿en serio? Sí, es lo justo, es pum, 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 pum. Pero como a ella ayer le sacamos todo, van a estar un poquito enojadas porque le robamos todo. tratar de meter este debajo del zapato dentro dentro ¿Cómo está? Oh. <risa> los, los gracias chico pero tu llantes mano tu llantes no tu llantes no, necesita. ¿No? <risa> <risa> ahí no va. Bueno, ahí la deja ahí un ratito ahí no va Es el, uh... Y las obreras ¿Viste que nos quieren comer? There are so many bees around me. This is crazy. I've never had this many bees around me and like not been freaking out. It's just not... It doesn't feel right. To have a hundred bees all over me and not to be like, ah, running away, screaming. Bello. Después empezamos a ver. 
Sí, pues. Hay ahí varios en las cuevas. Esta es tu primera vez, ¿no? Sí. ¿Tienes miedo? No tanto. ¿No? no. ¿Tienes miedo? No. Una cosa, pero... Yo tengo miedo. Este es no natural, hermano. Esto es <laughs> oh my god, there's so many bees in here. Holy shit, I've, uh, this is the first in my life. Es el primer día en mi, en mi vida para manejar un, un carro. Con abejas. Con abejas, con muchas abejas. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. For real, you, you're you're a great person. You got a good you got a good heart, man. Yeah, that's one of my favorite days on the island with you, bro. Appreciate it. What's up everybody? Thank you so much for watching again. And again, as promised, I'm going to show you guys another song and by a local artist in Rapa Nui. Uh, Another beautiful, beautiful song. My heartfelt thank you for the artists. And uh, yeah, it was a really, really fun series of videos. Uh, we, <laughs> are you making her laugh? <laughs> uh, we're in the boatyard right now. So this we're in the Airbnb. Uh, you're gonna learn about that on the next episode. We've got some huge news, right? Right, Lulu? And L little Luna is gonna be in the videos more now. Because, yeah, and La Negrita también. Yeah, <laughs> and Ana también, yeah. All right, thanks for watching. Peace, love, enjoy the video. ケロロマイタキマウからきてもとわぱおおののれおまうわるがもてまおりなへたたまいもてまおりなへたたまい
aderon o kite mano i kume a me a i mau nga e o Kite aroa mo ma u mo te nga poki E doro ma i taki ma u para i te motu a pa u O no no le o ma u a aru nga mo te ma u i na i tata ma i Te nuanei 